Be sure someday. Good evening, he's ladies. Going to... oh, good, good evening, evening Mr. Buchanan. Buchanan. Well, I hope it's hot enough for you. Oh. How's your wife feeling in this weather? Oh, she don't complain about the weather. She's afraid to leave the house. Thinks maybe she wouldn't get back in time in case, you know. Oh, I was the same way with my Vincent. But with May, I was up and out to the very last minute. Uh, Mr. Buchanan, do you think she would like some nice minestrone? Good Italian vegetable soup. Oh, much obliged, Mrs. Fiorentino. But she can't seem to keep anything on her stomach. Uh, That's why I ran out to get her an orange. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of jittery, I guess. Yeah. I'll sure be glad when we get this over with. Oh, honest. The way the men carry on, you think it was them that was having the baby. <laughs> well, in a way, I think it's harder for the men. Oh! No, I mean it. When a woman has a baby, assuming that she can, she shouldn't overlook the fact that it's awful hard on a man. When a woman has a baby, it is hard on a man. That's the way it is with these folks. I'm under a noise strain. And even though I'm not laid up, I can hardly stand the pain. She tells me all her fears and nearly drives me silly. She thinks the baby's eyes will cross and it'll look like Cousin Tilly. <laughs> I cannot seem to please her, no matter how I try. She wants social grants like Christmas and oysters in July. Of course, I'm just a beginner. That's why I'm in this state. I guess I'll be much calmer when we get to number eight. <laughs> I think it's coming, maybe. <laughs>